Hi everyone. So this is our free month postpartum update video. Um, that's AJ there in his little play gym. And I'm going to play. Hey buddy. So that's AJ. Hey. <coughs> Hi everyone. So um, I'm going to do three months postpartum update on both myself and AJ because he's now three months old. So um, today is let me just pop this up here. It's a bit easier for me to do this. Mm. Anywho, today is Friday the twenty third of September. And um, AJ turned three months old on Wednesday, so he's three months old already. Oh my gosh! Um, so yeah, time's flying by. So um, I thought I'd do the update because today he went and had his three month um, immunizations, and while I was there, um, I had him weighed. Um, and stuff as well just to um, check his weight and everything um, because he's still not seeing the nurse again and the Plunkett nurse for another couple of weeks so <coughs> for a proper checkup so um, yeah I had um, him weigh today when he had his injections um, last time he was weighed which was three weeks ago, yeah, just over three weeks ago, um, he had not gained a lot of weight from the previous um, weigh-in before that. So it is eight week weigh-in, he was 4.4 kilos and he'd been gaining weight really well. Then at 10 weeks, he was 4.5 kilos, he'd only put on 100 grams. <coughs> And so I made some changes to um, how I was feeding him um, and things by feeding him off um, both um, sides um, per feed instead of just one. Um, and so he, I asked the nurse to weigh him today and she weighed him and in three weeks he's gained 600 grams. So he is now 5.1 kilos, excuse me. Um, he is now 5.1 kilos, which is really good. Um, I could see that he was starting to chubby up, um, but of course you just, I see him every day, so I don't, I wasn't sure how much weight he was actually, um, had actually gained, um, excuse me, I'm just going to... So in pounds, that's roughly about 11 pounds I think um, I just did it on my phone then just to see um, oh, so so yeah he's gained 600 grams in three weeks which I'm really like thank God about um, because I really was you know concerned you know I wanted to know whether um, me feeding him off both sides per feed was actually working um, and it is, so it's obviously making a lot of difference. Um, so it's good to know that I'm on the right track. So yeah, he's 5.1 kilos now, yay. Um, so that's about roughly like 200 grams a week, which is really good. Um, so hopefully that sort of thing continues now that he's on this sort of um, roll. Um, Length-wise, he's 62 centimetres long, and he his head circumference is... 42 centimetres so his head has grown a lot and um, he's grown about a centimetre in about five weeks I think um, which I'm not surprised that he hasn't grown a lot because he did a huge four centimetre surge um, over the space of ten days um, at his eight week appointment so I'm not surprised that he's sort of slowed down in that um, regard. Um, he's he's a um, very happy little boy. Um, yeah, he's um, doing really well today, considering he had um, two injections, one on each leg. 
uh, he um, screamed and screamed, um, but he got over it pretty quick. Um, so yeah, he had a came home and had a sleep, and he's doing really good. He hasn't got a temperature. He's not in any pain or anything. He's not grizzly. He's quite happy. Um, see him. Mine is, I've got um, um, only in uh, a little one piece thing at the moment because um, I just didn't want him to get the temperature. I wanted to keep his body temperature down in case he um, did spike a temperature, but he seems to be doing pretty good. So, I'm really glad with um, that result with his weight and everything, so I'm glad that he's doing what he's supposed to do. So, um, that's really good. He's, yeah, he's just, he's really happy. Sleeping has gone wayward again. Um, he's not sleeping, like, through the night or anything, like how he used to be. Um, he wakes, uh, between one and three times during the night. It depends on what time he goes to sleep like at bedtime um but yeah <laughs> so um and during the day it's different every day I never know day to day if he's going to sleep a half an hour nap or a two hour nap um it really I never know so I'm, I'm just learning to accept that he's just like that um and I'm hoping that once he starts solid foods at six months that he might sleep a bit better during the night. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, oh, um, then maybe I can get some better sleep during the night too. Um, yeah, in regards to him, he's, he's pretty good. He's, um, yeah, just doing his thing. Um, me, um, I three months postpartum, everything's pretty normal. I got my first postpartum cycle that started Thursday before last, so what was, what was the date yesterday? 22nd minus 7. Um, so the 15th. Um, no, 15th. No, minus another 7. What's 15? <laughs> um, oh my god, I'm so away with the periods at the moment. 8. The 8th of September. It was a Thursday, I think. And um, yeah, I got, um, Aunt Flo arrived and it was a real one. It wasn't sort of an iffy, was it, wasn't it? It was a real one that lasted six days. Um, yeah, so I'm officially on my first. Um, postpartum cycle. Um, by no means are we um, trying to conceive again whatsoever. Um, so we are taking precautions um, for like the first time in our relationship because our whole entire relationship has been trying to conceive really so it's a bit strange. Um, but yeah so I think I'm currently on cycle day let's get my calendar out Seven. I'm on cycle day 15 at the moment so um 14? 15? one of those so yeah um, but yeah, um, otherwise everything's pretty normal really, I'm, we're just, life's, um, carrying on as normal and we're just, yeah, um, doing our thing really, um, excuse me, um, his next, he sees the Plunkett nurse again in, on October 6th. So, I think that's two weeks from now. Yeah, two weeks from now. So, um, 
I'll probably do another update then just to quickly let you know um, the stats really and then it'll be another couple of months I hope excuse me before he sees them again so yeah um, I think that's pretty much it um, I've got my labour and delivery story done and up um, so that's good got that done finally um, see if he wants to say hi Definitely, he's found his hands and um, not quite his feet yet. He looks at them and he watches them. Um, he hasn't quite found them yet. Oh, spillage, dribbles. Um, but um, yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, he plays with his toys in the play gym and grabs them and puts them in his mouth and. I think he's doing pretty good, eh, buddy? Aren't you? He's still quite a tiny sort of looking baby, but pretty good, though. Hey! <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that's us. Can you say bye? Go back and play? Um, I will show you my um, three month postpartum uh, body. Belly, I guess you could say. Um, I think the weather's finally going to start finding up here and being really nice, sort of more permanently, so we'll be able to go out more, which would be good. Hey, go out for walks and stuff. Say bye. <laughs> hey, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> I don't need my finger. Um, so, <coughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'll show you my postpartum, three month postpartum body, um, my weight's still the same really, it hasn't changed much, but, um, yeah, so, this is just, I will talk to you guys again probably in a couple of weeks. Yeah, after um, his next um, appointment with the nurse. So. So I will um, talk to you guys in a couple of weeks, few weeks or whatever. Bye.